the choice to send him off. Well, this is Ziyech, and they've been caught out again here. And he's trying to turn past Sandler. Oh, that's brilliant. That is absolutely terrific from Hakim Ziyech. And he's starting the new... What is going on, everybody? How are you doing? And welcome back today to a brand new Inform Play Review. And today we are going to be looking at the Inform Hakim Ziyech from Ajax and Morocco. If you do enjoy this play review, make sure to leave a massive thumbs up on the video. Always hugely appreciated. And don't forget as well, if this is your first time to the channel, click that subscribe button down below. Become a part of the Niche Nation. But we're going to kick things off, as always, with the basic information of Ziyech. He's standing at 5 foot 11 inches tall. He's got high to low work rates, which I'm going to say straight away, this guy is not a central midfielder, even though that's his standard base position. Uh, he's got three-star skill moves, and he's also got a two star weak foot as well. Looking at his first card in top of in-game stats, he's an 83 rated central midfielder. That's how he ships like so I would never play him in central midfield in a million years. He's got 75 pace, 82 dribbling, 82 shooting, 86 passing, 72 physical and 50 defending and his top 5 in game stats are 94 curve, 92 vision, 88 shot power, 88 free kick accuracy and 87 stamina as well and he's got a ton of traits and specialities, he's got flair, he's got the long shot taker, he's got playmaker, he's got the corner specialist and he's also got the takes finesse style free kicks as well. You can see the team on screen that we used him in. It's the same team that we used for the uh, inform, second inform, sorry, Marco and uh, Nautovic review that went up yesterday. Be sure to check that out if you haven't already. I've also reviewed Emmanuel Petit's legend card that's also in his team. But in the five games that we played with Hakim Zoyek in that camp position, he came away with three goals and two assists, which wasn't a too bad of a return, especially considering we were reviewing our Nautovic at the same time. And as we start to get into some of the clips of Zoyek in action now, I've already mentioned it once, I would never play this card in a million years at the central midfield. To me, he's a cam, maybe even a centre forward at false nine. I can even see why some people would play him at striker, just because for me, he hasn't got the defensive stats or particularly the physicality stats to play well as like a box-to-box -box midfielder. You could perhaps get away with him as an attacking central midfielder, but I personally wouldn't advise it. The two things that I've really been held in back, Zayek, were the fact that he's only got a two-star weak foot, especially in that central midfield role. Do you want to be trying to ping passes either side if you're going left or right? And obviously, with him being extremely left-footed, that does restrict you a little bit. And also the lack of four-star skills. For some reason, I actually thought Zayek had four star skills this year. This is the first time I've used any variation of his card. So I was quite disappointed to see that he only had a three star. But when you do take those two things out of the equation and also factor in the facts that, um, factor in the facts, you know what I mean. It makes sense to it just sounded weird. He's only costing like 11,000 coins right now for this inform, which is literally dirt cheap, discard inform. And I think the stats that you get for that are pretty decent. He feels very good on the ball. His dribbling is fantastic. His link-up play and passing is also sensational. And if nothing else, lads, his set pieces are absolutely incredible. He's got great free kick on him. I didn't actually score one, uh, any. I only had one free kick with him. And unfortunately, the guy that I was against at the time put a man on the line and just cleared it away. But his corners, his free kicks are absolutely amazing. And I think, if nothing else, this guy is worth purchasing. Because A, if you need any squad builder, if there's any squad builder challenges that require an in form, this guy is literally like a discard price. And two, I actually think he'd make a very good super sub if you brought him on in the sort of last 20 minutes of a game. I genuinely think he could make an impact. Because like I say, for me, I felt his link-up play was fantastic. He set pieces are amazing. And he has got a goal and an assist in him. He has got a little bit of a spark. But uh, overall, we're going to be giving him an 8 out of 10. I do think he's worth picking up, like I say, mainly for the fact that you could need an inform for an SBC, something like that. And like I've already said, I think he'd be great off the bench in any team because obviously being in Eredivisie, it's not the most desirable league in the world and it's not the kind of team that you're potentially building for the weekend league. But uh, yeah, 8 out of 10, he's definitely a solid, solid card and I would recommend picking him up just on the basis that he's literally discard price, as I've already mentioned. But that is going to round this up, lads. Make sure to leave a massive thumbs up on it if you did enjoy, like I said at the start. And stay tuned for another play review that should be coming out tomorrow on the uh, second inform Marco Verratti who I actually managed to pat doing the SPCs yesterday so look forward to that lads I'll catch you all there enjoy the rest of your evening Need you out. Yo, he's Nidge plays with big games and player reviews are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates his video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching vids and you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating, so don't ignore the like and subscribe.